Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Cummings. We are going to make a quick domino. This will be a how-to reference. So in this situation, we're going to start with the box. Bring the box over to our work plane. We're going to use this, uh, these small white squares. We're going to set the height, length, or the X, Y, and Z axis, length, width, and height. So the height on this, or uh, the length that we're going to use is going to be 100 millimeters. The width we're going to use is going to be 50. Um, make sure when you, whenever you do, you don't set the the distance, uh, the angle just yet. We'll work on that in a minute. Okay. Now that that is set, we're going to do the next part. We're basically going to, from the top view, we're going to split this in half using uh, a, a box. Okay. We're going to edit this to be our length, okay, is going, or I'm um, sorry, our width, I apologize, is going to be 100 millimeters, okay, so it's going to be really long, but it's only going to be 5 millimeters wide, so the idea here is to use it, so that way we can just split it in half, nice and easy, now your screens are touch screens, so for that I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of jealous, it makes this actually a little bit easier with manipulation, here I'm kind of guessing where the halfway point is, so to set this correctly, we want to have it at halfway. Now I'm going to use this uh, tool in the uh, top left-hand corner. And it's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate the screen so I can see how this is. So if you guys see this right here, this little cone, we're going to bring it up, physically rise it. If you look over here, you'll see the distance is rising. We want it to be 10 millimeters off of the work plane. So there will be a gap right here. So if you look here, there's an actual gap, and this is halfway. Okay? Now, that's good. That's pretty much set. The height is set. Since we only have to do one, what I'm going to do is going to highlight it all. Okay? Just like that. And I'm going to come up over here. It says group. Okay? It looks like a, little, a half arrow with a circle on it. Or you can hit Control G. Group it together, and what's really cool is it takes it away, and you see that it's still a full piece, but it breaks the two sections in half, visually. So, the next part that I'm going to do, okay, um, I'm going to pull in cylinders, okay? I'm going to use the grayed out ones, but you can use the not grayed out, and then you can make them into the grayed out holes, okay? So... We are going to edit the length, width, and height. Now, if you see what I just did right there? This is this little section right here with all these options is blocking it. I don't need those options, and you don't need them either. But what we will need are these uh, numbers. So I went again here, uh, hit the hit the box. I'm going to make it five millimeters by five millimeters. Hit enter. And so it's now, it's tall, but it's not, you know, oblong. Again, I'm going to bring this up 10 millimeters. The magic number 10 is there because we don't want it to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type 10, make my life easier. Now, we have this little, little piece. Well, I'm going to use, highlight it, hit Control C, and then I'm going to hit Control V six more times. One, three, four, five, six. What that does is it gives me seven holes because in a domino we have seven holes, right? And I'm going to hit the top, and now I'm going to place the holes. Again, in the instructions, I didn't give you guys super, super specific places where they need to be. But what I do expect is that the the total width, height, and um, length of the holes are going to be consistent. So in this one, I'm going to do uh, three on the bottom and four on the top. All I'm going to try and do is get it as even as possible. It, it, it might not be perfect, and that's okay. Right now, I'm, I'm just looking to that you guys understand and how to use these skills. Okay, I'm going to bring this over here. One, two. So I see that right here, that's kind of off, but that's okay. Two. Wow, that's really off. 
There we go. Perfect. Three and four. Now, if you guys look at it, the holes are going to be bigger, and that's okay. I actually like them to have them a little bit larger. It's a little bit easier to manipulate it, to grab it, and place it. If they're the same size, things can kind of move and all that. So what I'm going to do is come back to the top view. I'm going to highlight it all. Group it. Remember the group function? Okay. And then all of a sudden, the holes are made. Now, the next step in this particular situation is to change the color. So I'm going to come over to the shape. I'm going to choose a color. And let's choose yellow. Yellow sticks out. All right. Next, the last two steps that I have you guys do. So when I have this uh, object highlighted, you now this is pretty, pretty complete. We've got... You know, seven holes, There's the, the depths are good. We have our area that we break in half. Now what I want you to do is rotate it from a horizontal plane to a vertical plane. So how do we use this? These little arrows, these half, uh, half circle arrows we use. So if I rotate it this way, okay, oh, well, sorry. If I come here and I rotate it this way, it rotates on its side. Well, if I rotate it, on, on this way, it rotates on, on the bottom, just like you're on a compass. But if I rotate it here, it comes up vertically. And that's what I want. I want a 90 degree vertical. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Now this is where it gets a little more fun. I'm gonna raise it to be at zero. And that way it's completely flat on the work plane. Screen, uh, bring it out. Now you guys can use your mount, uh, your mice to, to manipulate the view just a little bit easier. Then you're going to hit uh, Windows Shift S. Okay, boom. What that's going to do is take a screen grab of this particular situation. Okay, once it screen grabs, it'll pop up on your notifications. You have to hit it. And then you'll save it and submit this to Canvas. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Hope this helps a lot.